I'm Debbie Dashinger. Welcome to Dare to Dream. Be inspired to live big and bold and take action to turn your dreams into your reality. Go beyond obstacles and limits of your thinking. Accelerate results to catapult yourself to success. I'm a visibility expert who gives media makeovers to clients, booking them on media interviews and turning their books into international bestsellers with guaranteed results. Join me at DebbieDashinger.com. Dare to do great things. Dare to shine. It's all about you becoming a visionary and leading the path. Welcome to your daring new life. Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Debbie Dashinger. And yep, this is all about you creating your dreams, taking them big out into the world, turning them into a reality. And a little bit later on, this show is going to feature Susan Miller, who's an internationally known astrologer. And we're going to be talking about the year ahead, 2018, what to expect. Yep, astrologer Susan Miller is here. She'll be on later on Dare to Dream. And Hmm. So much going on. And and, uh, what I'm hearing a lot of people saying out there is that they're exhausted right now. Don't know what that energy is, but there is a lot of exhaustion. Very interesting way to start a year. So I want to talk about the now. (laughs) what's now because there's so much here that's abundant and real and raw and fabulous so let's talk about the real here and now in today's thought we can choose to learn that to live in the here and now is our natural state of awareness right that's who we truly be it's just we pull ourselves out of the now and what pulls us out of present moment awareness is our mind's resistance to the now Our mind, what a little monkey it is, because it can draw us into the past or it can pull us into the somehow illusion of a future. So what we can employ, we know, is meditation and other practices like (sighs) conscious breathing, like (sighs) yoga, meditation practices, conscious breathing, yoga. And we become more aware of our mind's habit of distracting us from the present. And then this allows us to become recentered in present awareness, the here and now. One of my practices right now is re-choosing. So if anything comes up that doesn't feel fabulous, doesn't feel like the vortex I choose to be in, I get it. There's some default neuro groove happening there. And when it happens, it doesn't feel good. So I make a new choice and I do whatever it takes in order to get myself back into the groove and the vortex of where I prefer to be operating in. Because everything's possible when I'm in the vortex. Everything comes when I'm in the vortex. And the mantra of all of life works out for me. Everything always works out for me. The universe has my back is then true. That's what I choose to create. So I give you this centering thought or this mantra for today and hold on to this so you can re-choose. The fullness of life is here and now. Ralph Walder Emerson said, write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. When we come back, Susan Miller is here to talk about astrology and what you can expect in the new year ahead. Stay right there. Whether you're a wine novice, a wine lover, or a wine specialist, you will love directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders because it's sourced from boutique artisan vineyards from around the world. Give the wines as gifts for colleagues to bring to social situations or just enjoy it with family and friends. The box of wines I've been receiving from directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders are superb, to be frank. They take care in the wine they choose. Their in-house wine experts ensure that the members get only the best. They've been tasting and selecting wine for over 15 years. The goal with this club is to send you wine that you love. Each month, our experts select great premium wines from wineries around the globe. Your satisfaction is guaranteed at directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. That's direct, C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. 
Tell the world about your product or business. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. The award-winning program is syndicated on over 60 stations, has a big following and large listenership. If you're ready to expand your reach, become a sponsor or advertiser on Dare to Dream Radio. Best rates, great results. Email at ads at debbydassinger.com. That's ads at debbydassinger.com. What if the world doesn't function the way we've been told? What if we truly can bend the laws of physical reality? What if we can end limitation? What if weird were the coolest thing you could be? And what if it's time for a totally different reality? Are you ready to create it? Are you ready to dream as big as you dare? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything in my life changed for me. This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Gandhi, Galileo, and Aristotle all knew to be true. It's not about the answer. It's about being the question, always. It's about truly being you, whatever that looks like, and changing this world. Is now the time? Start by signing up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. That's beingyouclass.com. What if you are the gift and the change this world requires? Beingyouclass.com. Tell the world about your product or business. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. The award-winning program is syndicated on over 60 stations, has a big following, and large listenership. If you're ready to expand your reach, become a sponsor or advertiser on Dare to Dream Radio. Best rates, great results. Email ads at debbydashinger.com. That's ads at debbydashinger.com. Yes, she's here. This is Debbie Dashinger and best-selling book author, web publisher, and businesswoman. Susan Miller is here. Her achievements and contributions to the field of astrology have made her an international authority in her field. An accredited astrologer by the International Society for Astrological Research, Susan is a second-generation astrologer, and she learned the subject from studying with her mother starting at age 15. Each month, Susan writes for eight top international fashion magazines and is the author of 10 books. In 2015, she started Astrology Zone, the show, with producer Paul Dudridge. The show, hosted on Vimeo, receives over a million viewers a month. Her website, go check it out, astrologyzone.com, and you can get your own free detailed forecast plus find her free astrology app. Susan Miller, welcome to Dare to Dream. Thank you. We had to pause the show because we didn't. Uh, we lost some funding, and you know this happens. But we're looking at other possibilities now. So if if your listeners look for the TV show, it's not there. <laughs> and if you're a sponsor, go reach out to her or to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. They love you. Yeah. Let astrology rock on. I am so looking forward to our conversation on the astrological year ahead. I told somebody this morning that I was having you on, and she said my sentiment exactly, oh, Lord, please let this be a good year. Last year was such a wallop. So well, Susan, we- using. What are As we a nation, leaving we behind? Been through a lot every yes. day on the news brings, I think, more anxiety-producing news. So, the thing is about 2018. It's a year when you really have to choose the time you're going to initiate a project very carefully, because there's little potholes everywhere, and you, you, your aim has to be perfect. And the first half of the year is your best. So we're in it now, January, February, March, April, May, and most of June. But then we start getting into cross currents. Mars will go retrograde all summer from uh, January 26th to August 27th. And it's not a good time to start any venture that you need a competitive edge did you mean June 26th? Because you said January. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. June 26th to August 27th. So, um, no, you really you don't want to do big, big things with Mars retrograde. 
And right. also later in the year, Venus will retrograde from October 5th to November 16th. And you don't want to do anything to your face. You don't want to do Botox or plastic surgery or cut your hair in a very different way or change the color. Men, don't shave off your beard. Your children will cry and not recognize you. Don't want to change your teeth. Just avoid those weeks from October 5th to November 16th. Also, love gets involved with these two planets. If you marry with Venus retrograde, Affection cools. If you marry with Mars retrograde, and this really concerns me because it's prime wedding month, um, you know, the sex isn't good soon after. So you want to really avoid the, the retrogrades of planets that orbit close to Earth. And, of course, Mercury is the planet of contracts. And any contract, whether it's a marriage contract, and we don't think of marriage that way, but it is a contract, or a business contract, the next one coming up will be March 22nd to April 15th. So you you don't want to, you know, sign anything or buy any electronics during that period. But then the rest of the year has other wonderful things. So I don't want anybody to get the impression, uh uh-oh, this is a terrible year. No, not at all. Um, You know, for the past seven years, we've had Uranus and Pluto in a dispute. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw a lot of things on the news that were very upsetting. It started with the man with the orange hair in Aurora, Colorado, (laughs) uh, shooting in the theater. Mm -hmm. It went all the way through months and months and months. This went several years, you know, with the monks... uh, being beheaded by the terrorists, and many awful things. Now, those two planets have stopped their direct clash, but I need them to get 10 degrees apart. They're about 5 or 6 degrees apart. apart. They retrograde back and forth, so uh, I would prefer them to go a little bit further. By 2020, they'll be totally out of, the, uh, out of range. But... Um, So that part alone will be helpful, the fact that they're parting, that they're leaving, that they're moving in different directions. So that's very good. And this year, Scorpio has just gone into, I mean, Jupiter, sorry. (laughs) Jupiter, the giver of gifts and luck, has gone into Scorpio. And almost the minute it went in on October 10th, 2017, just a few months ago, we had all the news about Mr. Weinstein and the different 2018. Ends. I'm just going to help the listeners yeah. here. I know you're just well, it went in really in downloading. Yeah, It went in so, October uh, before 2018. It, gotcha. it went in in 2017 on October okay. 10th. And the minute it went in, we started getting that news. And powerful men were falling mm-hmm. uh, like dominoes. And um, it uh, Jupiter's great healer also the good, giver of gifts and luck and happiness. But in this case, healing fits, and uh, Scorpio is the sign that rules sex and money and power. So you see that Jupiter is very, very powerful uh, and came in and, and started that revolution of what they call it the reckoning. You know, so. Reckoning, Saturn I love has it. just changed signs, too, around mm-hmm. Christmas time. It changed from... Sagittarius to Capricorn on December 20th. This is a big event because Saturn takes 29 years to go around the sun. I should say Jupiter, who we've just been talking about in Scorpio, takes 12 years to go around the sun and stays in the sign one year. But Saturn stays in almost three years. And uh, it's been in Sagittarius and giving magazines, newspapers, and even broadcasting companies a hard time. They were all challenged to reinvent themselves. And that process is done now. The ones that are still standing are going to be in good shape. And uh, you'll start to see them flourish. They, they've really had a hard time. And you saw a lot of editors leave top fashion magazines. 
Susan, when you say things like 12 years for Jupiter in Scorpio or three years for the Sagittarius, what does that mean? Does that mean that it's this, what you're speaking about, these qualities are going to be ongoing for that amount of time until it shifts? When Jupiter comes into a sign, it goes into a different house for everybody. And we can go through that in a minute. (laughs) And I can tell you, where is Jupiter for Aries, for Taurus, for Gemini, for Cancer, you know, and where you have Jupiter is where you're going to really shine. This is where the golden nuggets lie. But we also feel these planets in, on a societal level. And uh, Jupiter is straightening out that situation where men had too much power over women. So Beautiful. Uh, but that's well, I'm curious corrected. when you talk and about the summer and the cross that. currents. That are you know, supposed to be coming. Out. My birthday is June twenty seventh, so I'm You're right cancer. after that beginning. I don't know how screwed that well, makes cancer. me as a cancer. Jupiter or is not. in your house of true love. You have the mm. best year in twelve for love. The best sure, it is the sign I'm most sure likely ready. to fall in love. Are you married? I am recently out of a 10-year relationship as of last year, February, so um, oh, I would be ripe and ready. Good. Your time is good. Did the eclipse break that up on uh, February 10th last year? It happened on the 22nd of February, actually. Interesting. Oh, later. Okay, but still the seeds were planted a little bit earlier. You may not have known about it, but they it, were. Yeah. <laughs> it was starting to push things. And then in, in August, we had two more eclipses. Remember when we all wore the glasses? These yeah. eclipses are powerful. I have a whole essay on how to deal with eclipses on the homepage of astrologyzone.com because so many people want to know about it. And I also have another kind of table where you can see all the eclipses back to 1994 and see if your birthday fell on any of those dates. It's kind of interesting to look back. That's really how you learn and see what came up and what did you decide mm-hmm. to do. Because we have free will. We're not led by the planets. The planets influence us. But what we choose to do in the end is up to us. Great. So I don't I'm want so curious. To feel Thank you for bringing that up because I know you say astrology yeah. is the study of mathematical cycles. It's yeah. not the art of predestination. And each of us does have free will. How do we employ that? How do we have discernment about, hey, well, I'm going to take advantage it, of this? I, and I, nope, letting go of that. I'm uh, tremendously detailed in my columns because when I write for the month ahead, for each sign, it's about 2,500 words, and then multiply that by 12. You know, it's a lot of writing. It takes me seven hours per sign to write, so I can only do two in a day. And I'm, I'm very, very meticulous about pointing out certain days. And then on Twitter, I'll remind, I love Twitter, <laughs> mm-hmm. I remind my readers, you know, this, this day is coming up, this glorious day. Like, for example, this month, January 24th, is, is heavenly. Mm-hmm. Jupiter and Mercury will be working together. It's a fabulous day to sign a contract. It's uh, for you, especially any creative idea, because you have Jupiter in the house of love, children and creativity those three things are in the same house and it could be exciting you know where you begin something you make a you reach a chord with another person and you begin and uh, it could be a love or business you know so um you know i tell you about all the good aspects as they come along and sometimes you want to sit out the aspect and sometimes you want to join in and do something on that day Absolutely. Um, and I'm, I'm taking notes and I know people are going to want to hear more directly about what's happening for us, how Pluto, how Uranus are involved f- with their long dispute. And when well, we come back, we're going to cover that and hear more from Susan. And I think you'll be hearing some about your sign sometime in the show. You're listening to Dare to Dream Radio. Join me after the show on Facebook at Dare to Dream Radio and TV. We'll be right back. What if you were willing to nurture and care for you? What if you could open the doors to being everything you have decided is not possible to be? Have you always known you're different from the people around you? If you've been seeking something else, something else is possible. To receive more on Access Consciousness, go to tinyurl.com slash accesschange. 
Is this the change you've been looking for? tinyurl.com slash access change. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a bar session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? Debbie Dashinger's Radio Interview Mastery Program is a unique branded system that works. MediaMasteryRadio.com puts you on a fast track to grow your business and easily book interviews. Learn how at MediaMasteryRadio.com. Debbie is fiercely committed to guiding entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, healers, and business people. Learn how to leverage your radio appearances to grow your business and increase your visibility at MediaMasteryRadio.com. Do you have a published book that never reached its bestseller potential? Are you working on a book or ebook you hope to publish soon? Do you have a book locked inside waiting to release your message to the world? Go to mybestsellerbook.com. My Bestseller Book will launch your book to a guaranteed bestseller status. Learn more at mybestsellerbook.com. Research shows we apologize up to 10 times a day, and most of the time, we say sorry as a response to someone else's mistake. What if we thanked people instead of all that unnecessary apologizing? So instead of saying, sorry, I'm rambling, you say, thank you for listening. Join us at ProjectForgive.com, a free non-religious resource on global forgiveness. Debbie Dashinger, I'm interviewing international astrologer Susan Miller. You can find her at astrologyzone.com. As promised, Susan, I want to go over this because the idea that I've heard you say is that 2018 promises to be a better year for us as Pluto and Uranus are gradually separating from a long dispute. That's what you said. Yes. What did you mean by that? What was the dispute all about and how are they creating <laughs> peace? <laughs> well, Uranus is still in Aries and Pluto was and still is in Capricorn but when they reach perfect 90 degrees uh, that's a degree of obstacles and difference of opinion and the job of these planets is to start a public discussion and let's rewind the tape a little bit God was up there in heaven looking at how we were handling money and our Mm -hmm. attitude to money and how the banks were handling Mm -hmm. loans and mortgages. He was shaking his head, no, 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 no. We we really need to to straighten a few things out. So he said, Pluto, come over here. I'm putting you in (laughs) Capricorn, and you're going down to Earth, and you're going to stir things up, Mm -hmm. and you're going to reveal problems. Mm -hmm. And... God sent Pluto down to Earth in 2008, and immediately we had the crisis with the banks and the mortgages. Immediately. And uh, and Pluto said, how long am I going to be doing this? He said, 16 years. He said, 16 years. Okay, 16 years. Now, God's looking at this, and if you remember, Greenspan said, You know, we thought we learned things in 1929, and apparently we didn't. Mm -hmm. And now it's 2008, and we didn't. And I have to tell you, we're going to have to go through this several times. Because people don't learn. They Mm. just don't learn. And now Saturn, which is the great taskmaster, is going to be helping 
Pluto because Saturn's in Capricorn. He left Sagittarius, and so he's leaving the magazines and the media and and those publishers and broadcasters alone because they have reinvented themselves. Because when Saturn comes to you, you really have to do things differently. The old formulas don't work anymore. But now he's in the banking sign of Capricorn. And we will have to face up to changes with paperless money, Bitcoin, um, huh. wallets on your cell phone, and all those things. And do they need to be regulated? And it'll start a public discussion on that because we are moving into a new frontier. And now, adding so to this, I'm, there's I'm another just, element to this. Let, Susan, let me ask you something because there's so much contention out there about things like Bitcoin and if it's actually mm-hmm. stable, if it's legit, um, it's going up, it's going down. <laughs> you know what? So oh, I know what it's I, on the front page of. Uh, USA Today, which they left in my room here <laughs> in my hotel. No, it's um, it, it started on the dark web, and I found out that there are at least 200 companies with their own Bitcoin, so to speak. But this question isn't going to be solved immediately because we have to wait for Uranus, the planet of sudden change. Uh, he's going into... Taurus this year. He's going in in May, middle of May, and staying into the beginning of November just to give us a little preview. Then he retreats back to Aries where he's been for seven years. But once you reach 2019 in March, Uranus will stay in Taurus for seven years. He will stay the full seven years. And Taurus is the sign of real estate and mortgages and and insurance companies and, you know, all these things, including health care. So we haven't even begun to scratch the surface on how much we have to look into these areas and come up with creative solutions to fit the society we've become because we keep changing and evolving and, uh, you know, there's also, if you're using your cell phone to pay for everything, you know, we all know everything could be hacked, so we have to think about that. It, wow. You can't stop technology or hold it back, but mm. you do have to think about possible problems and how to solve them. You know, even on my own website, uh, I've been attacked <laughs> by Russian companies, by, by different ones from different lands all different parts of the world, and we we find ways to build our firewall stronger. Yep. But you as well. well, No, that'll never happen to me. (laughs) (laughs) But I I have now 102 million page views a year, 10 million unique. And this is just on the website. Most people read me on the app, and it's very hard to get those figures. I do know I had 22 million point four four four. Um, sessions, which means how many times people came in and used their app, which shows high engagement. But it's very hard for me to ha- know how many are in their phones now because I released it in 2014, and then we made upgrades. It's just very, very, very hard. <laughs> what can we <laughs> find on the app? Out. So if I yeah, sign up, people. I put it on my uh, iPhone. I'm a Cancer oh, Scorpio yeah, you Moon. Have my Le- app. Thank you. You know, tomorrow's a big day for me. Uh, so? I'm in Los Angeles because uh, the Media Excellence Awards are, you know, red carpet formal award ceremony in Beverly Hills, and uh, my app is up for three categories: best content, best international application, which I released in in July for Turkey, and best new use of technology for lifestyle. Um, Astrology Zone is on the Alexa. A little digital assistant, you know, Alexa, wake up. <laughs> she looks like a little spaceship. Open astrology zone. And then she says, I'm ready. And she asks you your sign. And you say, I'm cancer. And then she says, would you like today or tomorrow's horoscope? And you say today. And then you can go back in and say tomorrow. You know, and it's it's very sweet. Very sweet. And it's free. So if you have the Alexa assistant, you know what else it's good for? 
<laughs> when you're a writer. <laughs> Alexa, how do you spell paparazzi? How do you spell mm-hmm. algorithm? <laughs> it's great. She tells you right away. So does Siri, but the little dot is sitting there right on your desk. You know, so. Well, I love that. I'm a book writing <laughs> coach, so I'll make sure to let my students know that. <laughs> if they have any problems, Alexa or Siri, they'll help them yep, out. No reason to have misspellings anymore. <laughs> we have That's help. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Susan's going to complete talking about the year we ended around the fall time, and also a little bit about some of the specific astrology signs. So you're going to want to hear about your year ahead. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Do you love wine? Do you enjoy drinking it or sharing it? Well, maybe you know a lot about wine, maybe you don't. Thanks for entrusting me with picking and choosing the most amazing wines from all over the world and delivering them to your home or business. You will receive as few or as many bottles of wine as you like with tasting notes in your magical box of wine, detailing the regions, the history, and even food and wine pairing. We will deliver to you the best wine in the world. So get in, get wine, get social at directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. Sit back and truly enjoy our wines because we take great pride we have invested a great deal of time selecting the most incredible wines from all over the world we know you'll enjoy and want to share at directsellers.com slash deb's wine wonders that's direct c-e-l-l-a-r-s dot com slash deb's wine wonders yum Be laser-focused on ideal clients. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. Great rates at ads at debbie-yer.com. Create awareness of your valuable content. Sponsor the Dare to Dream Radio show at ads at debbie-yer.com. Advertising amplifies everything you're doing towards success. Increase your business. Write to ads at debbie What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question. Always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. beingyouclass.com What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? beingyouclass.com. If you're tuning in after we've started, this is Debbie Dashinger on Dare to Dream Radio. I'm interviewing astrologer Susan Miller, who you can find at astrologyzone.com. And Susan has promised we're going to talk more specifically about some of the individual signs and mm-hmm. what they can expect this year. Uh, hopefully, they're all going to have pretty good news. But <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I have over. great news for everybody. Let's start with Aries. Beautiful. Aries, you are going to be making money big time. The money comes to you in chunks, like a bonus, like a big commission, a licensing fee, um, a signing bonus. Or maybe you're on a TV show and you win the big prize. You also have a huge career year. Actually, the next three years is really important for you because you will be tested. Your metal, you know, how how much you want to climb to higher points, and all the little rams want to go up the mountain to the top. So uh, this is an exciting time because money and career success comes to you. 
Uh, Taurus, it's all about marriage. You are the sign most likely to get married. If you are already married, it means your partner will do well, and as a result, you'll both have a happy time together. And it looks like you will take at least one long-distance trip overseas, and it could be the trip that really is the trip of the lifetime. Maybe it's a honeymoon. But if you say, no, no, I'm not getting married, I'm not married, (laughs) I'm not interested in getting married, then you can use this energy for forming fabulous business associations, a partnership or signing an agent, a new lawyer, a new publicist, something of that sort, someone who works with you one-on-one. So it's a great time to be a Taurus. Now, Gemini, health, ah, wonderful. And you know, if you have your health, you have the world. And if you haven't been feeling good and you say, oh, I don't think I'm going to be part of this, yes, you will. Even if you've seen doctors in the past and they say, hmm, there's nothing, I can't help you, every day new technology uh, advances us forward. Go back, see someone new. See a different doctor after you've done your research, a specialist in the area that you need. Because you could get comfort, relief, and possibly even a cure, but you have to see. But uh, if you need surgery this year, this is a good year to do that because the surgeon removes the problem and and then you transform, and that house is very lit up for you. Also, uh, if you're feeling fine, health and fitness, fabulous, great time to go back to the gym and maybe get a trainer or try a new form of exercise like Pilates, if you've always done yoga or if you've always lifted weights. Just try something new and shake it up. Uh, also, work assignments are going to be plentiful. That's especially good if you're self-employed. People are beating their way to your door. (laughs) So that's really good news. Uh, Cancer. Cancer is a sign most likely to fall in love. If you say, I'm already in love, well, then this could be the year that you have your baby. You know, Debbie, um, the number one question that people ask me when I'm doing an appearance is, can I have a baby? Did I wait too long? And, well, of course, that is a medical question, and I always ask the girls to, you know, go see a doctor to be sure. But if you're thinking of doing in vitro, I mean, if you're a cancer, this is the year to do it. Uh, Some girls are freezing their eggs, many. I live in New York. That's a really big thing, and it is expensive. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know one girl paid $14,000, but her mom and dad helped her because they want grandchildren, of course. (laughs) And it... (laughs) It, it it releases the pressure, you know, because men are saying to me, gosh, I go out with a girl and she wants to know immediately if I want children. You know, it's a little early to ask that on a first or second date. So if you freeze your eggs, you have a little bit more time. Um, and so it's all good for, for your emotional life, Cancer. For Leo, it's real estate, real estate, real estate. This is the year to buy or sell property. Or if you say, I love my little apartment, well, then maybe you want to renovate it. Maybe you want new furniture. Maybe you want to give it an upgrade or a new paint job. You can do it on a small level or a big level. Uh, Also, family support is going to be very strong. So if, let's say, you do want to buy an apartment and you don't have quite enough for the down payment, your parents may give you a loan or even an outright gift as part of your inheritance. They give it to you now so they can see you enjoy it. And uh, it's, it's just a wonderful time. And maybe someone in your family will have a baby and it draws the whole family together in, in a joyous kind of situation. Now, if you're a Virgo, you were born to be a great communicator. My best, best uh, editors are all Virgos. Hmm. They see every detail, but they're, they're very uh, accomplished writers, also code writers, people working in software where every dot and dash has to be right. Oh, the Virgos excel at that. <laughs> The and perfectionist, this right? Is the, yeah, right? Can you imagine, right? And uh, they, they are great film editors or audio editors. They're, anything involving communication. And this is, is where they do well. And this year, they will get a chance to have 
their own new platform. It could be a TV show, a podcast series. It could be they start a blog or a website. They could write the book that becomes so well-known. You know, don't think that you can't be the next J.K. Rawlings, you know, that that wonderful story about someone who was poverty-stricken right. and sits down and writes novels and becomes world famous. You, that could be you this year, Virgo. Start now because mm-hmm. you're starting a 12-year cycle. That's really great. And if you say, I, I would really love to write, but I'm, I'm a little shy about the whole thing. Well, go take a writing class. Take creative writing or spiff up your grammar. And there are, are programs that help you with your grammar. So you shouldn't be shy about that. Now you have so much help. You just have to reach out and take the first step. Now, after that comes Libra. Libra, you have Jupiter, the giver of gifts and luck, in your house of money. Finally, you're making the money you deserve. Okay, all the Libras have been saying, oh, gosh, I work so hard and I, I don't get paid enough. Well, now is the time you have to speak up. I'll always tell you when to speak up and when to hold back. But this year is great. And I think in May, you will get the money you want. Mm -hmm. End, end, end of April or in May, first three weeks. That's the time to go for the gold. Okay? And so it's a sign most likely to buy a a designer handbag (laughs) or a new car. (laughs) Okay, now we have Scorpio. Now this we have to talk about because they are the celestial favorite. They wear Mm -hmm. the crown. And Scorpio, you can have what you want, but you need to have your wish list. Sometimes I've said to people, what would you love to happen? And they kind of give me that faraway look, and they say, well, I don't know. I have no idea. Well, sometimes I say, if that phone were to ring right now, who would be calling you, and what would they be saying to you? Because that's maybe a little bit more definite. And then people say, well... Oh, I know what I'd like. (laughs) Well, good. It could be your best friend saying, I have the perfect partner for you. I've set up a blind date, and you have to go, and it's tomorrow night. Now, that's pretty exciting. (laughs) Or it could be, we've been following your career, and we want to offer you the job of your dream. You know, there are many, many applications to this. And you don't have to pick just one, because Scorpio, every 12 years you get this. I call it an emerald year. And you get the horn of plenty, the cornucopia. You get love and money and career success. Things go your way. And travel should be part of of the experience this year. Probably go overseas. You might be going for your boss, and then you say to yourself, why haven't I been traveling more? This is really eye-opening and expanding, and it's good for me. Yes, so... Scorpio, we all want to be you. <laughs> yeah, celestial favorite indeed. Um, you just ended three years of, of being tested because Saturn was in Sagittarius. Now you're feeling, feeling lighter and freer. Now Scorpio uh, is the sign in the 12th house. So you're going to be the next celestial favorite, but you have to get ready. The more you prepare, the better the year will be when it begins in November 2018 to extend to December 2nd, 2019. You'll get 13 months. But if you don't know what you want, well, it's hard for the universe to give it to you. So you have to know what you want. But you also need to unload things from your life that just aren't making you happy, like friends who burn your time or even belittle your ideas. No, you need to distance yourself from those people. And, uh, you you know, think about your apartment if you've always felt it was too small. You know, start to prepare that when Jupiter goes into your sign, you're going to find the right one. If you've been dating someone who never makes a proposal or if you're the guy and she never gets divorced, she keeps promising you, think about it because you're going into the best year of your life and you don't want to be weighed down by long-term circumstances that just aren't taking you anywhere. If there's anything I've learned being an astrologer, the universe wants to see you make progress and also wants to see you be happy. And you say, well, I'm not always happy. Sometimes bad things happen. Yes, that's so you can fix it. If you don't know it's going off the rails, you can't do anything to fix it. 
So, so Susan, um, before we take a break, have what about Sag, Sagittarius and Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces? Have we gone there? Well, I'm talking about Sag right now, so we have the last three coming up. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> So we can still do. Let's let's quickly do Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, so they don't feel left out. We yes. want everyone to get a little piece of yummy. Well, Capricorn here. last year, 2017, you had a big career year, and you must be proud of what you've accomplished. This year, you don't have to work as formally. You're going to make new friends, and those friends will bring you more new friends. I'd like you to think about joining a club, perhaps a social club, or a professional club. I just want to get you among more people. Capricorn's a very ambitious sign, and they may think, oh, is that a waste of time? No, it's not, because you'll get ideas for your business by talking to other people. Get out of the office and mix and mingle, because this is where your luck lies. Aquarius, you're the sign most likely to get the corner office. Big, big promotion is coming your way. <laughs> oh, it's really exciting. We'll be reading about you. In the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, and every other paper, you're really doing well. Keep it up. You're heading to success. And Pisces, your ninth house is lit up like a Christmas tree. It's all about foreign people, foreign places. These people are lucky for you and will bring you where you want to be. They will give you the opportunities you've always dreamed about. This is a great year to take a foreign trip, get that passport ready, and buy a new suitcase. You're going to need it. Also, publishing and broadcasting opportunities sparkle. Also, if you want to go back to school, this is essentially an intellectual house, so it's time to think about getting your degree, whether in college or in graduate school. It's a great time, and don't limit your list. The, the school of your dreams is likely to accept you. What a great oh, segue. Well, well we're going to take a quick break, and if you want to write a book and one of your astrological signs was speaking about you publishing or getting out there, putting your words into a manuscript, you can hire a certified coach. That's me. I ensure you will finish your book and write a page turner. I am a book coach, and I take your book to a guaranteed international bestseller while assisting you with media interview bookings. Get your book written this year. Take it to bestseller and get interviewed. Is it your time to get your manuscript out there? Email bestseller at debbiedashinger.com. We'll be right back. Be laser focused on ideal clients. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. Great rates at ads at debbiedashinger.com. Create awareness of your valuable content. Sponsor the Dare to Dream Radio show at ads at debbiedashinger.com. Advertising amplifies everything you're doing towards success. Increase your business. Write to ads at debbiedashinger.com. Hey, everybody. This is Dr. Dane here, and I would like to invite you to an adventure in being. I've just written and finished a new book known as Being You, Changing the World. Are you one of those dreamers? One of those people who's always known that other possibilities should be available but haven't yet been able to see them be created? Well, I wrote this book for you. In it, you'll find tools, processes, and unique perspectives to change the things you've always wanted to change but didn't know how. In it, you'll find an invitation to a different possibility for a way that we can be in this world that changes not only our lives, but by being us, allows us to contribute to changing everything planet-wide that doesn't work. Are you aware that truly great people, truly being them, is the only thing that has ever created a great change on this planet? Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to be one? Check out a copy of my new book, Being You, Changing the World. I invite you to go to beingyoubook.com for a free gift. Mybestsellerbook.com helps you self-publish and you keep all the royalties. Even if your book is already published, MyBestSeller.com will help you become a best-selling author. Your book will be promoted to a large global following. Enjoy a press release and book review. Make your next book launch bigger and better. MyBestSellerBook.com has long-term client credibility and 100% success in turning books into bestsellers. MyBestSellerBook.com 
Welcome back. I'm Debbie Dashinger speaking with Susan Miller, who you can find at astrologyzone.com. And Susan, I just want to briefly let people know events you have coming up. You mentioned some, mm-hmm. but you're going to be here at the LA Conscious Life Expo. In I February, so February 11th. It's a Sunday. Um, I believe it's at one or two in the afternoon. It's, it's wonderful. 2 PM. Um, I'm in the schedule. And uh, I thought it was a nice time where people can relax. And a lot of us do errands on Saturday and Sunday <laughs> afternoon. So Sunday, nice. yeah, I love this. So people who are interested, go to ConsciousLifeExpo.com. Susan is doing her own workshop on astrology in the year ahead, Sunday, February 11th, 2 p.m. Also, if you don't want to fly to L.A., but why wouldn't you? But if you can't for whatever (laughs) reason, there is live streaming, so you can still participate from anywhere in the world. Don't let it... Ah, but I'm not live streaming mine. I'm not going to do... You know what it is? I don't... I get more self-conscious, so I don't live stream, but I love it that the expo is at the LAX Hilton, it's literally a half mile down the road, and it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. They had feng shui people help them when they put it together. And you can fly in, you know, from San Francisco or Seattle or wherever and go to the event and then go home. It's simple as pie. So, as uh, pie. That's and why they do it is... there because a lot of people come from out of town and really easy. Susan, this is not a food segue, but I have to mention that you have a jewelry collection on your website called Star I do. Map and necklaces. I, do. I, I was obsessed with the Cancerian necklace. It is a gorgeous piece. They're beautiful. Now, I would only sell something that I would wear myself. And uh, Sequin makes beautiful jewelry for very famous names, but they wanted a name for themselves after many years of doing famous designers. So they did this collection for me, and they're all hand done in America. And uh, but they have European people who live here, <laughs> and uh, people love them. You know, it's it's harder to see in a photo, but when you have them, also my calendar. Yes. Oh, you have to know about my year ahead collectibles. Every year I come out with a wall calendar, but this year we're also doing a planner. We tested it in. In China, I do a lot of work in China. I, I work for Vogue China, Vogue Japan, W Korea. I, you know, I, I work for everybody, Vogue Germany, Esmota Spain, and so forth. And uh, we tested it, and people really liked it. And I went to Isaac, who does, I-Z-A-K, not Isaac Mizrahi, different Isaac, who does all the skinny girls for Henry Bendel's, the beautiful department store mm-hmm. on Fifth Avenue. And I asked his agents if he would work with me, and they said, yes, and we worked out a price. His work is gorgeous. People just can't believe how beautiful it is. So, and I I write every word on the grid of each month's calendar. Now, some days are quiet, but other days are packed with information, and let's say your birthday is on the 5th, but on the, on the 6th, you see a lot of activity. Well, that means your birthday is leading into a wonderful day, and you will feel it because no aspect sits by itself. It has an area of influence, an aura around it, so the day before you're going to feel it too. People really like it because when they make appointments and somebody says, do you want to come in Thursday or next Monday? Those are the only two days I have. Say, oh, let me check my calendar. (laughs) Is it I in also the stars have two days to be there. And Susan, Android right here at the iPhone. end, this is Dare to Dream. What are you next, Dare to Dream? What are your future dreams and goals? Susan. Hi, did I go too long? I bet I did. <laughs> yes, I'm just curious. Right here at the end, this is Dare to Dream. What are you next, Dare to Dream? What are your future dreams and goals? I'm I'm looking into TV and radio projects, so we have to see. You know, um, you know I always have something next because you really have should have a goal that's one that's further into the future because things take time to work out. And then you have short-term goals and long-term goals. Uh, I was just taken on by a creative arts agency in China 
to do a TV show for the Chinese. So that seems to be coming up sooner. I'll know more in about a month. So, okay. That's and really well, nice. Susan, you can come back anytime. I loved having you on the show. Aww. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, that's such a compliment. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hundred percent, and I can't wait to meet you in person. It's going to be a blast at the Conscious Life Expo, mm. and that's an invitation to everybody. And I end today's show with this quote from Jean Dixon: "Our lives are programmed at conception and are endowed with purpose and meaning." Next up, as guests on Dare to Dream Radio and Podcasts, I'm featuring John Sally, Carolyn Mace. Lynn McTaggart. So you want to stay tuned to this show and subscribe to my inspirational YouTube videos at youtube.com slash Deb on the radio. Thanks for joining me on Dare to Dream. To contact the award-winning syndicated Dare to Dream radio show, Go to DebbieDashinger.com. Keep your excellent feedback and comments coming. Your host, Debbie Dashinger, is an expert at goal achievement, a media personality, an international best-selling author, and a keynote speaker. Debbie leads high-quality teleseminars on how to achieve goals, how to be a self-published best-selling author, and how to get booked on radio. All classes are at DebbieDashinger.com. Debbie's best-selling books are Dare to Dream, This Life Counts, sold on Amazon, and her second book, Wisdom to Success, The Secrets to Accomplish All Your Dreams, sold online at all bookstores. Tune in again to hear the next inspiring interview guest who has turned their vision into a successful reality. Want more support in making your dreams come true? Go to DebbieDashinger.com. That's www. Dot D E B B I D A C H I N G E R dot com. You'll see videos, MP3s, archived interviews, and amazing products sharing the secret steps to making your dreams come true. Remember to dream big with every expectation that your dream will become real. Dreams are free, so free your dreams. What do you dare to dream? I'm standing now, waiting for my time to be all that I can be. It's so easy to forget, life is in my hands, and I can change it if I want. Nothing's impossible.